So someone asked, how do you make a lower third scripture when you were using two different Bible versions? And this is a lower third with a verse that has the scripture reference in orange, the actual scripture in white. But how do we create one that has two scriptures? Kind of like when we go here and we select a uh, collection of Bibles where there's two of them. And the way you do that is you will select one while you're holding the command button and another one. And so this is American Standard and the Spanish Bible. I can right click on that and say new collection. All right. And then when I scroll up, I have a collection that has the American Standard and the Bible in basic Spanish. And so I can click on that. And we can go here. And here's the Bible, what it would look like. Uh, so if I double click on any of these verses, you'll see two scriptures and a reference. Now, don't worry about it being cut off. That's just because my screen is not a 1920 by 1080, uh, which is what my output is designed for. So my output is a little bit wider. My computer screen is a little bit narrower. All right. But the goal is how do we make it look like this with two different versions of the Bible where there's a lower thirds at the bottom with the scripture reference, but two. And so the first thing I would say do is to go to your templates and let's design a new template that involves two scriptures for lower thirds. And the best way to do that is to right click on your current double scripture by default that has the two versions of the Bible. And we're going to click duplicate. And now we've got two of those. So then I'm going to right click on this one. I'm going to rename it. And we're going to call this one Scripture 2 LT for lower thirds. And the rules that we're following or that we're doing here, you can do that if you want to have three, ver three versions of the Bible or four as well. We're going to focus on two just because that's more likely and it's a little bit more um, convenient to have as a lower third. OK, so we got Scripture 2 lower thirds. We're going to right click and we're going to go to edit. And now we've got to rearrange these boxes. They had one version of the Bible here, another version here, and then the reference data here as a meta. We're going to rearrange these. So I'm going to squeeze them all down to make them a lot shorter. Let's click here. Squeeze that down to be something like that. And I'm going to click in this box, and I'm going to make sure that the text is set to auto size. And I want it to shrink to fit because I'm making everything so much smaller. The next thing I want to do is I want to make this box be white in the background. So the text color is white. I'm going to make that be like a navy blue and we're going to go to item and we're going to make the background of the box be white. And then we're going to take off the shadow. It kind of makes it look blurry with that shadow. So we're going to turn that off by going to zero on the shadows and we're going to make the blur go down to zero as well. All right. So that's done and you'll see that populate there. And now we're going to bring these boxes down as well. And let's click here and we're going to shrink this. Let's bring it down. So I'm going to just drag this down to make it touch there. And we'll drag this down to make this be narrow as well. And we'll bring it down to maybe here. And we're going to make the padding. So that padding is there in blue. It's kind of like an interior border. We're going to change that along with the color and the text size of this box. So. The first thing is we got the padding under the item. We're going to bring that down to, let's go to 15. Let's see. That's not bad. It gives it a little, little more space to breathe. And then we're going to go to the background opacity. We're going to make that be 10 or all the way up. So let's go all the way up as high as it'll go, which is 10. And then we've got the padding there. I don't want it to be rounded edges like that. I want it to be square. So we're going to make that be zero corner radius, right? And no border. So we're going to turn that off. Um, and then no shadow. That's good. And now let's go to oh the background color. We're going to make the background color be like a, I don't know what color blue that is, but a blue. And then we're going to change the text box to where it's auto sized as well. So auto size the text box. So now no matter how big the text is or how much text is there, it's going to automatically adjust. And let's check to make sure there's no shadows on the words. No shadows there. Let's check this one. 
there are some shadows on these words. So let's turn that off. No shadow there. No shadow there. And no blur. All right. So that cleans up the meta. We got the two here um, for the for one verse reference. And then we're going to do the same thing we did with the two. We're going to do that for the one. We're going to drag it down. Make it touch. We're going to squeeze this down to be about the same size. We're going to go into, this is our text box. We're going to turn on auto size because we don't want it to run over. And let's make sure this one's on auto size. It is. It's shrunk down. Okay. And then we've got the text color. We're going to change that, but let's make sure that the shadow is off. So let's turn the shadow off here. It just keeps it clean. We'll make that be zero. And the text color, we're going to make, um, we're going to keep it, uh, we'll make it navy blue because we're going to change this background color to be a lot lighter. So we're going to change this item here. And we're going to change the background from black to be in this really sky blue. Okay. And the background opacity, we're going to bring that up to 10 to where it's solid. And then the padding needs to go back down to 15. This is the interior border here that we've got in blue. We want that to be more room for the text to fit. Okay. And that's done. And if we scroll down in here, we'll check to see we don't need a border. So we could turn that down completely and then the shadow here we don't want one there as well turn that off uh oh not negative uh, and the blur will make that zero as well all right so now we've got this lower thirds box but I forgot to turn the rounding off on the corner radius so let's turn that to zero so now we've got three stacked boxes and so now I'm going to format them a little bit to where this metadata is going to be a lot shorter. I don't want it to be as wide as everything else. We'll still center it though. So I'm dragging it over until I see the line in the middle. That's my center line. Then I'm going to bring these other ones in as well, but not as far. All right. So this one will center it up. And then we're going to make this one be just as long on both sides. So I can just drag it to those. And we know it's in line. All right. So now we've got a lower thirds that looks like this which I like that. And we're going to go back to our show and let's see what that looks like because we called this one scripture to LT. So we got it scripture to LT on our verses here. So when I click that, I still have the max verses per line to be one, which is important because we want them to fit. We don't want to have three or four verses in that little bitty space. And then we've got our verses on individual lines. There is on verse numbers is on. That's fine. And then I got the reference. And the version, those are both on. That's what that white box at the bottom that we made is going to be for. So if I double click on new verse, you're going to see here. Now we've got a lower thirds with one version of the Bible in Spanish, another version in English, and then the reference down here. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. And so I might say, you know what, I'm going to make this even smaller because the text fits in there pretty nice. I will go back to my templates. And then I see the template down here and I would just right click on it and click edit and we'll just make these be a little bit smaller so I'm gonna drag this down to be a bit narrower this one I'll drag it up to be a little bit narrower and then this one bring it down as well all right and so now we'll make those be there and so now we've got it just a little bit smaller and automatically adjust and let's do another scripture I'm gonna go down to my scripture tab Let's click on the scripture and let's see what that looks like. And that looks good. I like the way it looks. Um, everything's in the right place because all we did was duplicate the template that was already there. And we just made and adjusted the boxes for each verse to be smaller and near the bottom. All right. And so with something like that, you would change your media to be a video camera. And my cameras are going to queue up here. And so now I can click this. And now this looks like that to where you'll see the person speaking. In this case, let me adjust my screen. So you'll see the person speaking and they'll have the lower thirds there with them as well. All right. And so that's how that will work. Now, the issue is this is the primary input. 
I actually want this to be my stream input. If I always use double versions of the Bible, then you want to make sure to do that. Now, the other thing that stands out is if you look here, look at what happened to this. There's three lines, but only two of them are filled in. I didn't use a collection of Bibles, so it's not going to go perfectly unless you're always using two different versions of the Bible. This one has the verse here, but then the reference is in the second line and the white box is blank. This is something to keep in mind. That's why it's so important to know how you plan to use this. And so if you're going to always use two different versions of the Bible, you'll be fine because you're going to always have in your scriptures a collection of two different Bibles. So if I did King James Version in Swahili Bible, I can go here and I can double click and those two versions of the Bible there, everything goes in its place. All right. Now, if I want my stream to always have the versions of the Bible like this here to where it always has them there, what you have to do is you have to set up your stream to make that be the default for your particular versions of the Bible for your style, I should say. All right. So you go to your output and you go to well, you go to settings and then go to outputs. I've got a stream output that I've designed. And what I've done is I've made a style for it that says stream scripture. Okay. And then I made the background of it transparent by selecting NDI. So the background is transparent. That's what that gray is there with the little boxes around it. So you'll see the little transparent box grid pattern or whatnot. That means it, it's see-through. But I have this style called stream scripture. If I go to stream, stream scripture in the styles, click down here to stream scripture, you're going to notice that the override scripture with template is not selected. I need to turn that on and I want it to always be scripture to LT. So these are the alphabetical order. I'm just scrolling down and there's our template there. Scripture to LT. And then I've got the background off. That allows it to, st to remain transparent. All right. To where I'm not going to carry over any background no matter what. And so if we go here and let's go to select these versions of the Bible and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say select all. We'll, we'll just say new sh well, all select all and then we'll right click again and say new show. All right. When I click here, we've got this version of the Bible here and this version there and it's in the template. But ideally your in-house or your primary screen is going to be a different template. So now let's change that in-house to be a different template and let's make it be uh, the double, the regular double scripture or the scripture two. We click that and you notice it automatically adjusts. So now when I go, I've got those bigger for the in-house monitors. And then this is smaller for the lower thirds live stream. Okay. And so this is going to be going out to, OBS or going through your ATM or something like that, where you're going to have a camera in the background. And now you can send this one out to the live stream and then you can have this one showing in house and you can put a background uh, in there on that one. So we can go to media and we can do, I got a, a folder here called Yolo box files and I'm going to do grunge backgrounds, which are some of my favorites and we'll do this blue. So if I click the blue. You notice that the blue shows up in the background here but it didn't show up here because this one is set in the output style to where the background does not carry over. All right. That's important. When I went to my settings, I made sure that this style for stream scripture, the background is not active. So no matter what background I put in my primary, it'll never carry over into my stream. All right. And it'll always be a lower thirds. But this is how you would customize your lower thirds when you want to use multiple different Bible versions. I've done uh, a blue theme to where it's navy blue with sky blue and then this regular blue with white and so forth. You can make these any color you want. You can make them any size you want. You may want them to be separate. I like them to be stacked up and together. You can do all of that in your templates. And the best way to start to do it is to go to your templates and just right click and duplicate the scripture two, if you want to use two ver two versions of the Bible, right click and duplicate the version three. If you're going to do three versions of the Bible, we did two. And then you right click and you edit and you can make this look however you want. And you can see a little bit of the background. It's kind of got that see through look. So it's hard to see, but that's the grid box that's transparent. And then 
my verses, I just shrunk them down, the boxes to shrink down to fit uh, where I want them at the lower part of the screen. If you want to get a two scripture lower thirds template that looks like this in black, and then we've also got one in blue. Let me show you what that looks like. We've got the blue version. Let's refresh that. That looks like this. And then we've also got an orange version that's available as well in our media kit download directly from my site. So this is what the orange one looks like. So um, if you need something like this for your ministry, make sure to visit GaryBJr.com and let's see what that looks like. And you'll be able to go to products and you'll be able to see the media toolkit to scripture lower thirds template. It includes all three of those versions that I just showed you the scripture to lower thirds black, scripture to lower thirds blue, and scripture to lower thirds orange. Make sure to check it out if your ministry regularly uses two different Bible versions for your show or live stream, these can come in handy. And I love for you to make sure to get, get uh, the download available on the website today.